Good morning. Welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. Every live, every live, every Wednesday we go live at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk that was either free or next to free and we fix it and we turn it into things that we sell or craft or whatever. Broken legs today. We're fixing them. And this live is courtesy of our milk paint sale. <laughs> Um, we are having a milk paint sale, if you're watching this, April 1st through April 8th, 2020. Um, it just got announced by our wholesaler this morning, so we were a little bit unprepared, but we're super excited. And you guys are the first to know, because I haven't even like advertised it. So all of the milk paint, bond, farmhouse finishes at jamierayvintage.com are 20% off. This happens like once a year, maybe twice a year these days, so this is super exciting. And it's not April Fools. It's really on sale. So not let's get started. April Fools. We we don't usually do much with April Fools. It's our daughter Eliza's birthday, That's and right. so we, uh, in an effort to not make her birthday terrible every year, we don't we don't participate. Right. <laughs> Little Eliza is eleven. Yesterday she was at the shop helping her mama ship and uh, get things organized. She painted a few projects. But if you guys are new to our channel, we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. And we just want to let you know this is a live stream. So if you're watching this, be prepared for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And if you're watching the replay, make sure you're commenting, asking questions, because we do go back and watch. Absolutely. We are excited to be here. Let me pull up comments this morning. Does anyone want to tell them what we're working on? So this is just a uh, sofa table or entry table. And I'll give you a little bit better pan of it here. Oh, Deborah's here. Tammy, Prairie Girl, Sarah. We got all my friends in the house. It's upside down on the table here. I'm going to try to repair it real fast so we can actually get to painting. It's got some fun detail, but the legs are broken. This insert that the leg is screwed on with is broken out. It's chipped out, gone. And then this one here was ripped off. Just I have staples here. We're going to repair this with screws. Um, you could easily staple this if you have the ability to do that, but I feel like most people have a, a drill and a, or a screwdriver and screws, so we're going to repair it that way. And let me just show you real quick. Tammy says, happy birthday, Eliza. I'll tell her you said that. Um, <laughs> yesterday, we have a local store called Pioneer Party here in Lehigh, Utah. And they do curbside pickup. And we picked up a giant balloon bouquet with a big number 11. So we're hoping to go out somewhere fun and roast hot dogs tonight and take some cute pictures of her. So this is, this is what that should look like in there so that the bolt can screw in and tighten down. And we've got to fix that. And then we've also- Super chat! Oh, fun. Grits. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for the super chat. Then we've also got to, uh, I'm going to zip these off or pull them through. I haven't decided. I might get rid of those. Ooh, Marlene's on here. So this was originally Marlene's. She's on here commenting and she donated this to the Jamie and Zeb camp go to thrift stores anymore fund and it's been on our back porch so we're excited to get it fixed thanks marlene she's a good friend of mine we have the same love of junk okay so while he's grabbing supplies i have um farmhouse finishes safe paint this is like milk paint only it doesn't chip or crack as much so bond isn't really necessary and the other thing about farmhouse finishes is that it mixes up easier you know how sometimes you can't get rid of some of the chunks in regular milk paint unless you use an immersion blender Farmhouse finishes does mix up a little bit creamier and I am just mixing this up with a paint stir stick and it seems to be doing pretty good. Um, this first layer I like to do a little bit thicker and I'm using pitch black which um, in Sweet Pickens milk paint is the equivalent of lantern if you wanted to buy milk paint and I am even though it's not necessary going to add some bond because this is going to be a base coat. Even though you don't have to. Well I mean you could just <laughs> paint without it but Typically, you don't put bond in it. Should I say that? Yeah. Okay. If typically. you want, well, explain but, to them the levels of chippiness and what can be achieved. Okay. So this, you just maybe get a little bit of chippy or none at all, but we are going to possibly be wet distressing, and I want to make sure that this base layer of black doesn't come off. So I'm just going to add a titch of bond because I find that that just gives me a little bit extra, but not all the way down to what this is. Is it a titch or a smidgen? It's a titch. I feel like a smidgen is an actual measurement. If you know what the actual... A titch actual... is like half of a smidgen. Okay. If you know what the actual staples are, because they're going to get in the way when I try to screw this back on, and they won't go in nice and straight anymore because they're all bent just up. Showing you the... It would just be too difficult to try to line them up and it's easier to screw them back in. Somebody said we're buffering. Um, Zeb, am I good on that one? It would just be too difficult to try to line them up and it's easier to screw them back 
Yeah. Somebody said we're buffering. Um, Zeb, is, am I good on that one? Yep. The consistency. Um, why am I using DIY? Because I do all kinds of different things. So farmhouse finishes and sweet pickings is thinner. So when you sand it, it's going to be a little bit less brush strokey. And this is more apt to chip. Are we on Wi-Fi? Okay. It might, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, it is a little bit on this end. So I feel like um, we have Xfinity, and I feel like they've been sharing our business hotspot because they've been having trouble with bandwidth because of everything that's going on. So that might affect it. Hopefully we don't lose the feed altogether. If we do, we'll yes. restart and hop back on. Yeah, stick around, give it a minute, and then... There's really nothing we can do about it, but if, it, if we do have to leave, we'll come right back. All right, so I don't have my handy dandy, uh... oh, now I forgot the name of it. I'm doing a pilot hole. All right. <laughs> my, my countersink bit. Okay, I'm going to be using the DIY sampler. This is like my new go-to brush. And I am just going to can I go ahead and start putting this on here even though you're fixing it? Just don't work on the one end. On that end? Yeah. I'm just putting it like where I'm going to distress. Okay. Oops. So I'm not going to be painting the whole thing. I'm just going to paint right here. And I've got my old school drill because the other stuff is over at the farmhouse project and Harrington is going to be over there working and I didn't know what he needed this morning before I got there. Oh, what's he doing at the farmhouse? Oh, he was just going to be pulling staples out of the ceiling. You never know. It's still working. All right, so I'm going to move. So Jamie is just essentially just a base coat where we want it to show back through. All right, so somebody wanted to know what we're doing. We are fixing the sofa table here and it looks like it's still streaming just a little blurry. So you guys have to stick with us. Hopefully it sticks together. That's the internet situation we have going on. We're not saying the reason for the internet situation because we won't say that word. All right, so you don't want me to paint these? Um, you can paint those. I just need to tighten that side up. All right, so are you drilling? Is it going to be loud? It will be not super loud. Hold on, you're so, going to knock the camera. So this side here is it was broken off. It's loose. So I'm just going to take the drill and give myself a little uh, counter sink here. Well, a pilot hole, this isn't a counter seat fit. But I don't, I don't want it to split the wood. But we do need to reattach that. So a little loud for a second. I forgot how smooth farmhouse finish it goes on. Yep. So we had a question the other day in the Jamie Ray Vintage group that we've got on Facebook, and someone was like, hey, my paint's foamy, it's not getting unfoamy. Probably a product of really, really whisking it, um, or using the immersion blender. And moving the immersion blender up and down. But if your paint won't stop being foamy, if you're using farmhouse finishes and you've mixed the powder, or you're using Sweet Pickens milk paint and the, the powder's mixed up, if it won't, if the foaminess won't go away, it still paints just fine. It's not going to really affect how the paint goes on or the chippiness that I've found. Oh, it's clear now. Woo woo! All right. Spinity must have heard the mean things we were saying about it. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in. I don't in, know that they were mean. It was just kind of real. <laughs> they were truthful, right? If you're just tuning in, we are fixing the sofa table today. It was given to us free by my homegirl Marlene um, because we can't find stuff at thrift stores. And it's Waste Not Wednesday, and on Waste Not Wednesday, we fix broken things and make them good again. Okay, so this is a number inch, inch and a quarter screw. I usually use inch and five eighths when I'm building tables, but this is essentially only three quarters inch, so I don't want it to blow all the way through the front of my project, so I'm just going to use a shorter screw here. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a background about farmhouse finishes. When he's not screwing. Wait, I gotta do one you gotta more. You gotta do a few? Well, I gotta do one more and then I'll be done for a minute. All right, I'll wait for a minute because a lot of people are curious what the difference is between this and All right, so now that corner is on there good and strong and I made sure to put some glue down in there because that glue is gonna make sure, it'll really help the screws not loosen up, especially on a leg. Like if you drag it, it's gonna wanna vibrate and those, those screws can get loose. 
Oh, there's glue on this side or something. All right, so this one I don't need to repair. I'm just gonna put this one right back on. And this is what this looks like. Just a heads up for you guys. If you have pieces like this that are missing or these inserts that I'm gonna put, I got a little bigger one because my other hole is a little wallered out from being broken. This kind of stuff, Lowe's and Ace are really good about having specialty furniture pieces and parts. So if you're looking for them, I'd check there first if you guys have those local. And both of those places are still open right now because they're your essential business. Supply stores. All right, so here's the deets, all right? Um, the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and Farmhouse Finishes and Old Fashioned Milk Paint are all owned by Sasha from Sweet Pickens Furniture. She actually bought out Old Fashioned Milk Paint. Has it been like a, a year? Yeah, maybe more. A year Last. ago. Um, and Old Fashioned has always been the manufacturer of Sweet Pickens. But Sweet Pickens was her private label. Sasha had her own colors. So when she bought it out, she took over everything. Um, and then she created, what was it, like 12 or 16 new colors mm -hmm. that they carry in farmhouse finishes and Sweet Pickens and Old Fashioned. Anyways, um, milk paint is predominantly chippy and cracky on its own. And usually you have to add bond if you don't want it to. Farmhouse finishes is called farmhouse finishes safe paint because it typically does not crack and chip the way that milk paint does. In fact, originally it was made to be wall paint and you can actually get all of the milk paint in gallon sizes, which is awesome if you have big projects. Um, and I think we could even special order five gallons, but I'm not- Don't hold us to that. Don't hold me to that, but you can order one gallon on our website, which is awesome when you have lots of projects to do. Um, the safe paint, I feel like actually mixes up creamier and the nice thing about all of the milk type paints is that they have a really long shelf life when they're not mixed up. So as long as you don't mix it up, you can leave it on your shelf pretty much indefinitely until you're ready to use it. Once you mix it up, you've only got a few hours and it's all natural and bio certified, which means you can use this on projects that are going to come in contact with food. If that's the case, we usually seal with hemp oil or um, like a butcher block oil, any type of food safe oils is what we would seal this with. So if we're doing something maybe like a high chair or a rolling pin or a cake plate or whatever, um, we will use this. And you can take this milk paint, water it down and make a food safe stain. That is always a really hot topic because we used to carry a food safe stain and we stopped. So if you water this way down in blacks or browns or grays, you can make a stain, it's food safe and you can get a little baggie like this. I think it's like six bucks plus net right now they're 20% off on the website. And you can make a lot of stain with it for not a lot of money. So I know right now money's tight. People aren't wanting to spend a ton. If you're looking to try it out, these samples are really a great way to do a stain. And you really can make a stain out of any color. So if you wanted to make like a pink stain or a blue stain or whatever. So those are some really great options for this. Hopefully that answers your questions. Um, we have a ton of videos on milk paint and farmhouse finishes, so you definitely can check out that playlist too. It right. also dries pretty fast. I'm going to be drilling a little bit here again. So I feel like I've got, I don't quite have the right, I need, I need can a... Can I go uh, ahead and paint this? Like where are you going to be touching? Yeah, I need a 7 16th drill bit and I don't have one here. I've got 3 8 and half inch. So we're, we'll see if we can make this work. Um, but this is how this works. This is essentially what we're going to do. We're going to drill a hole in that leg. It's a little oversized because it's already wallowed out and the original piece is broken out. So I got a bigger one than what comes on it. And then we will hopefully screw that down in, possibly do some gluing and then attach the other leg. The other thing about milk paint is you can actually get, especially if you've used bond or the farmhouse finishes, a very buttery smooth finish with minimal brush strokes. If you sand this with extra fine sandpaper, you can actually pretty much get almost all the brush strokes out. So it's, people ask why I use this instead of DIY. It's like apples and oranges, right? It just like depends on the look you're going for. Requires a little bit of patience and know-how because it can chip on you and you do have to mix it up. It's one part paint to one part water. But I like to mix it up with a little bit less water so it's a little thicker and I feel like I get a better first coat. So hopefully well if you saw our video uh was it last week uh thursday or friday 
I don't remember. Oh, on the corbels? On the corbels, you can see the real chippy, kind of authentic age look that we were able to achieve using the milk paint. Well, I actually used to say paint, but what I did was I wet distressed right. it. I need to steal this okay. from you. <clears throat> I, I just painted that. I wet okay. distressed it, and then I used a paint gun, so you can kind of coerce the chippy, even with the farmhouse finishes, which technically is not as chippy as the All right, sorry, I'm going to drill real quick. Oh. This drill is it says, not as... what was that piece called? The one going in first. Oh. So he's gonna bring it up close. So that way if you're watching later, you can screenshot. It's a Hillman wood insert, just uh it's brass. It's just called a wood insert nut. This is a 3 8 by 16 thread pitch. Yep. So we had a question about Sweet Pickens top coat. You can actually use that on any <clears throat> it's springtime here. Any, any. All right, I'm done now. Get your, get your drink. <laughs> I haven't talked that much this morning yet. Um, you can use it on any chalk type paint. Um, it is not considered boot safe, but it is all natural. It is more, good gravy this morning. It is more matte than DIY Big Top. So that's usually my deciding factor. So if I want a little bit more sheen, which some people like, especially on things that they're gonna be wiping a lot, then I'll use DIY Big Top. If I want a more matte liquid top coat, then I use Sweet Pickens. Do you know? So hopefully that answers your question. Let's see. And did I miss anything else? So I, I had a big old screwdriver around here somewhere. Have you seen it? Does farmhouse finishes paint flake off? It can if there's something greasy on it or it's super, super shiny. So I always say do a little test spot and that'll let you know if it starts to flake or chip, then maybe just lightly sand it and then you're good to go. But it's not typically flaky or chippy the way that traditional milk paint is. So I put a little wood glue down in there just to kind of secure it. It'll help keep it nice and tight. And it looks like the half inch was the right one. I thought I needed a... Uh, seven sixteenths but this is working pretty good i can't find my really big screwdriver so i'm just using a smaller screwdriver to run this down with the slot that's on there and you guys a tip with the milk paint really just add a less water than one to one you will get a thicker consistency and that is really great especially for first coats if you mix it up one to one i find it can be a little drippy okay so i'm just going to run this down until the face of it is flush so just like that. And this is broken out. You can fill this with Bondo or wood filler. I would use Bondo if I was gonna fill this in because it's more structural and can be screwed into, but it's not necessary. We got this deep enough down into the wood that it's past the damage part and it'll hold real strong. Jill McClure, can you access old business videos when you join the business membership? Yep. The longer you wait though, the longer it's gonna take because we do an hour long one or more. And last yesterday it was like an hour and a half. We had a lot of things and to, a lot of uh, things to, to say. say. <laughs> um, but yes, you can. In fact, um, today Mariah, because she's my admin for business coaching, will take and group all of the live videos from March and she'll actually make a, a file in the top of the group. And then that way you just go to like January's file, February's, March. It makes it a little easier and fine than just scrolling through there. So absolutely, you have access to all of those. And we cover different things. Um, more recently, we've been covering like business survival in the current environment. And I'm sharing all the things I know, like probably more t information than is necessary, but I'm trying like get to get your people, notebook out and sit down yeah, and I'm watch trying to, it. <laughs> I'm trying to give people all the options because I come up with things on the daily that I feel like help our business so that I pass them on to business coaching. So that's been great. Thanks, Brittany, for Super Chat. Super Chat. Super Chat. Our Super Chat on Saturday, you guys, was awesome. We um, did like, what, like $300? Yeah, $300 to donate to the nurses. Yeah, so we are going to be putting in, I'm probably gonna go, I think Sam's Club, you can like scan your stuff so you don't have to check out. So I think I'm gonna go to Sam's Club. I'm gonna check with my head nurse friend and see what snacks they want. We're gonna take that money there. All right, I'm gonna drill for okay. a second here. All right, hold tight, I gotta do this four All right. times. All right. I can see you getting antsy over there. Got a, got a comment to talk about. 
Oh, yeah, with Sam's Club, Caitlin says you can download the app. That's how you scan it. Yep, I knew that, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Jill McClure says, thanks, everyone. It's time to join. Yeah, I, the business channel membership really is fun, and lately you wind up getting me live more than once a week because whenever I think of something I want to share, I do. So, like yesterday, she randomly popped on and showed like a very specific thing about a Shopify yeah, website. I, yeah, <laughs> as I'm doing things, especially since we just launched the new website, when I'm doing things for JamieRayVintageHome.com, I'll go on business coaching and be like, hey, I'm doing this. This is how you do it because I know there's a lot of people just barely launching websites. So. All right, drill it again. Okay. Four times. Oop. Tell me. I'm dying. Sounds like my dental visits in there. <laughs> Jenny wants to know if we paint other people's furniture. We um, used no. to. Thousands and thousands of pieces. Literally, not kidding. Thousands. No, because we're so busy, we would not be reliable. Plus, I do whatever I want when I paint stuff. I do not take direction well. Sometimes people ask for custom things, and I'll... This is the All way right. I work it. If, they, if I haven't painted something, I'll say, okay, how would you like it? I will paint it. And if you like it, you can buy it, but I'm not promising it's gonna look the way you want. Like, if it's something that belongs to me. Because I never want someone to feel like they have to buy something, because maybe I changed my mind after All right, that one went in weird. Oh, Lauren says check in if the nurses can take food. So, we're getting it to the head I nurse. actually am connected with the head nurse of the unit that's handling all of the cases. So she knows all the procedures and everything that we're purchasing is from a store pre-wrapped snacks. So when she gets it, they actually put the food in where they sanitize everything and then they clean it all up per the procedure and then they take it to the nurses. So I definitely always suggest if you're going to do something where you're donating stuff, you need to contact them first and see what they need and how they can accept it because you never want to put the effort into it and then not be able to give it. Another great thing you guys can do, food banks, um, homeless shelters, they all need help right now. So if you're looking for a place to help, contact them too. All right, so this is just a inch and a half um, by three eighths hex bolt. Can I stay and, over here? Uh, I might have to flip it. I'm, I'm concerned I didn't, I put the right, wrong okay, side okay. up on this, but we'll see, we'll see if it works. Just, it's just hanging there though, so, don't, this one so don't bump it because you will knock it over. Okay. Um, I've got a flat washer and then a locking washer because we don't want this moving around. This little sampler like lays this paint on so flat. So awesome. I love it. Everybody always asks me, they're like, what's your, what do you suggest to get started? I think this might be my new like suggestion for if you're not painting something super detailed, get yourself a little sampler. A little sampler brush. A little sampler brush. I also think it would work really great for like top coats and stuff. Well, the really nice thing about the size of that brush is it just it literally goes down into the sample jars without making your brush get all crazy. Oh yeah. Well, and if you get a sample wax, then you want to use the JRV stencil brushes because they fit in there. Because you ever try to fit a full size? Uh, uh, wax brush in your sample size wax. Then you get those random hairs that poke out the side. It's really irritating. Ask me how I know. All right, this is just the base coat on this. That's why I'm not worried about full coverage. It's gonna get a different color. I'm just trying to get started so we can actually paint over the top of it. All right, guys, with a couple of tools, you could have done that probably with a screwdriver, maybe not the drill part. Um, you, but this drill, the drill I've been using, um, cost me $20 at Walmart 15 years ago. So maybe they're 30, 35 now for a corded drill. If you gotta get something so you can get projects done and you can't afford the, the fancy 150 or $200 cordless drills, this gets the job done every time and it works great. That drill is, I put a new cord on it. It's just, it's going. All right, so this is done. I'm gonna flip it over so we can see it better. Um, I think Jamie's got all her base coat on that she wanted. Yeah, and now we're gonna mix top. up a new color of uh, paint. We do need to put a base coat on the top. You guys, if you're gonna do milk paint, I picked these up at Home Depot, but really any local hardware store, whatever has them. On the side, they've got ratios. So because you need to mix one to one, if you just like watch where the milk paint goes, then you know how much water to add and you don't have to use a measuring cup. 
Like, why have I been using milk paint for six years, seven years, and never had these? I don't know. Maybe I can find some wholesale and start carrying them on the website because these, mind blown. <laughs> All right, so this is Farmhouse Finishes in Creamy. I like creamy because it's not like a yellowish white. And this is a gallon size, so it makes up a whole gallon. Let's see if I can is put it? this without yes, getting paint and things. We might have to paint this down on the floor. Well, if so you will just can, brush the top, I can So do the people base. can still see you. Well, you can brush the top while I start on the base that's dry. All right, so let me pull over here this so we brush. can get far enough away. Oh, there we go. You can see the whole thing. Look, I can go back and forth. Oh. You're not painting the top in the- I just the... dropped some paint. Careful oh. with this, because it's basically like straight up pigment go. So, it can be messy. All right, we're gonna be a little ways away, but this needs to dry. Do you want me to try heat gun it, or are we gonna worry that it's gonna flake off if I heat gun it? Um, no, it's fine. I added bond to the base coat. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add some water in here and mix it up. I need to go get a stir stick. Disclaimer, the only reason we are heat gunning this right now is so we can get it dry and hopefully get this second coat on while we're still really, alive. Really, Zeb, if you would just paint the top, these legs over here are dry enough to get started. Okay. So you can just do that. Where's the black at? Oh, I moved it over here. Is there a brush around still? Is the brush still in there? I'll get another one. No, well, you have to use that one. No, I need one for this color. Oh, you want me to paint the top? All right, so this is light, light cream. Light cream. In Sweet Pickens, it would be called creamy. It's a beige-based cream. And what that means is don't. it's not um, like yellowy, really. I know a lot of people want to know is it like a yellow cream. It's definitely, I'll show it to you close. I did not mix it up. I didn't pay attention, it needs more paint. I'll bring it close so you guys can see the color. Oh, we just got a super chat from super chat. Susan Smith. Thank you. All right, I'll read your comment in a minute when I get further away. I got new magnetic eyelashes this morning. They don't last forever. I also ordered some lash serum and mascara so I can maybe grow back my own. All right, so this is the color. Can you guys see that? See how it's like a tan-based cream? And he says my eyelash story was hilarious. I felt like I should share it. There's so much crap going around of like negativity. Gotta be real. And there's a lot of funny things happening. All right, I'll tell you something else that's funny while he's doing that. Did you read the super chat? I will in a second. Um, so I have these bags under my eyes. Can you guys see? Like I have them right here, right here. I actually, about every eight or nine months, have filler put in. So that way, everybody doesn't say, oh, you look tired, which really means you look like garbage. Like, that's code for that. And I've recently lost about 20 pounds. And so I had this huge dimple, like right here. Like, I don't know, my filler moved for me losing weight. And I was freaking out a little bit because I can't go have anything fixed. So. I have like one of those rollers that's supposedly like micro needling, but like at home. And then I had to use it. And look, it fixed itself. The dimple's gone. So anyways, it's All DIY right. beauty time. All right, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little noise. This, this has, um, let me show I need you. a darker blue with some gray paint. Um, a darker blue with some gray, you, you need to go back the other way, sweetie. Moody Blue is a grayish blue. If you stand up, you'll be at the top of the... Oh, Moody <laughs> Blue by Sweet Pickens is a grayish blue. Which brand did you want to know? So okay. I've got some... This stuff's not coming off, so I'm going to do a little bit of light sanding just because this stain here good. has some raised something or other, and I don't want that coming through the paint. So I'm just going to lightly sand that so that that outline is gone. Brittany's laughing at my story. Oh, and just so you know, like, this is what I look like with filler. So if somebody's like, if that makes you look tired, no, this is with filler and concealer. It's hereditary. It's one of those things that's like not a big deal, but makes me feel a little better. The good thing is that I don't color my hair or hardly ever get a cut, so I'm not struggling with that. But I have a lot of friends who have like, an inch of skunk stripe going. They're struggling. 
I told my sister-in-law, she's a hairstylist, I'm like, you should do a DIY video on how to touch up your own roots, because people need that. <laughs> Well, she got yeah. brave and she let my brother cut her hair. Yeah, Mariah did. She's my retailer director for JRV and she's also my admin for our business coaching. Someone was asking about the magnetic lashes. I'll have Zeb link them. They're also in my um, Amazon shop, all my favorite things. I have to say, after using them for a week, I've gotten a lot better. That first week was touch and go, but it's mostly because I really am low maintenance with stuff I do myself. That's why I get my lashes done because then I only have to worry about it every two weeks. All right, you got that paint mixed up yet? No, well, I just didn't get it thick the way I wanted to. Just slow your roll, George. Same. Sammy says she's rocking the Cruella de Vil. <laughs> Wednesdays, you guys didn't know this, Wednesdays are actually beauty hour with Jamie. Oh, <laughs> not really. It's just funny. No, I, I enjoy it. I get a kick out of, like, hearing the adventures of... Let's not pretend through. like you don't know everything about me. I roll least. out of the bed in the morning and throw a hat on and pants and a shirt, and I'm, I'm gone. I'm done. That's it. You spend so much time in the shower. Let's I shave my now. head in the shower, it's true, and, and that's where I shave because I found it's just way easier. If Zeb has to shave, like, forget it, 20 minutes later, it takes him longer to do his manscaping than it does for me to shave my legs. That's also because I'm not super picky. Hey, if I don't shave, I don't get kisses because you don't like the stubbly feel. Well, nobody wants sandpaper. <laughs> now they probably don't want to hear about that. I'll have to share a picture with you guys. Yesterday they poured the cement in our uh, garage at the farmhouse. Oh. <laughs> and Zeb wrote, Z loves J in the cement. It was really cute. I was in the middle of shipping a lot of stuff. I still didn't mix this up very good. For whatever reason, that black mixed up a lot better. Oh, well. It's because I did it off camera. Oh, yeah, Probably. that's not that's, dry. Yeah, I, we need to, it's got some stuff in the cracks. That's not dry. Heat gun. Right. Heat gun. Did I get it gray? I forgot it was wet in the cracks. I'll okay. show you guys the top here in a sec when it's all painted. This black is going to cover over those stains really nicely. And the hope is, if we use like an oil or a wax on this, none of that will bleed through this black. It'll just cover it. Well, we'll find out here very shortly. We'll All see. Right. It doesn't always work, but sometimes we get real lucky. Yeah. I'm going to come back to this situation. Milk paint is actually like people sometimes struggle with it, but I feel like it's really forgiving. You can sand out a lot of mistakes. If you use a heat gun, it will crackle, so keep that in mind. Well, it's mostly dry. You want to, if you if you want to force the crackle when it's tacky, hit it. Well, if it's kind of chunky, like right here, I have a thick area that will crack more. But really, I'm just trying to dry it. And this is just a base coat. I mean, you don't have to use milk paint for your base coat, but I did because. That's what we're using. I used farmhouse finishes, and I did add a little bit of extra bond in it, so that way, hopefully it won't shift through, because milk paint does have a mind of its own. Caitlin says to do something fun with your hair, Jamie. So... Do something fun with my hair? Like maybe what? She wasn't like talking cut to my you. own bangs? Oh, she's talking to Jen. I read it, Jamie, because oh. there's an exclamation. I was like, Never what mind. do you propose I do with my hair? I'm like, she colored the kids' hair Sunday. She's done. Yeah, I got, and the other thing about milk paint too, guys, it doesn't come out of your clothes, so fair warning. Oops. Okay, so there's the top. Just one coat, just zipped it on there. You remember there's this green marker situation thing happening over here? That's what I was talking about on the bleed through. We're hoping that doesn't come through once we put the lighter color on. You can fix that with shellac or DIY now has the uh, salvation solution that blocks stains. And this paint is not all the way dry, so we're getting a little blending. That's all right. I'm going to focus on this area, so maybe I can show them that. Do you want to grab another brush, though? And... Yeah. you got to kind of gray a little bit. Yeah, but that's all right. It's cool. I'll give you this heat gun when I'm done, and you can maybe dry some different areas. Sorry, watching paint dry is not super... Uh, oh, you're getting some good crackle and chipping with that heat gun, though. Yeah. See? 
if you use a heat gun, it will crackle and chip even the farmhouse finishes. So you see kind of like that small spider webby and the chip that's going to come out. Hopefully that just goes down to the black, but it should have a really fun age distress look, make this thing look you, like it's a hundred years old, even though most of it is MDF. Mostly. Um, the sides are wood. These are wood. Yeah, the sides are wood. The top is not. It's not like solid. It looks like it's Actually, plywood. Actually, I take that back. The top is not. No, it's plywood. Oh, no, it's, it's a wood. veneer. It's, it's a wood. veneer. It's like a mix, okay? <laughs> Don't be talking bad about my free table that I got from Marlon. I'm not talking bad about it. They're... So just to give you guys an idea, because I know you always want to know this, I would probably pay about 10 bucks for this if I did buy it at thrift store. <laughs> Oops, it wasn't quite dry. Well, she she got chippy. back to the black. It's all right. It's cool. We're going for chippy. Um, if you don't want chippy look, wait for it to dry all the way and then you're good. <laughs> but anyways, what was I saying? Oh, this would be about 10 bucks at a thrift store and I'll sell it for probably anywhere from 100 to 125. Depends on how cool it is. We'll see what it looks like at the end result. We're thinking we might throw this up on the uh, Jamie Ray Vintage Home yeah, we're gonna com put website and it'll be one of the furniture pieces that's available because we can take the legs off and ship it fairly easily. Yeah. So all the furniture we list, we quote shipping after people buy it, but this actually probably could ship anywhere for between 50 and $75 because these legs come off and we can just tuck. They tuck inside or they would just have to tuck on top. I don't know. I'm getting really good at shipping awkward sizes. I feel like it's missing the little foot on the bottom. I might have to fix oh, that too. Yeah. Sometimes they don't have those little metal foots and feet. 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 And you have to put like, what's that called? Like felt or whatever, or a metal tab on the bottom. Yeah, that's all right, we'll get it. It looks messy, but I promise you, it won't when I'm done. But all right, we, we put it back on the tripod. Yeah, we do a lot of work off camera. Okay, I'm trying to find dry spots to paint. You wanna answer questions? Yeah, I'll go look and see. Also, make sure your paint is mixed up all the way, because I didn't do a fabulous job with that. Anna Warren, sad is that table a little wobbly? I have a problem with the taller tables with narrow legs being wobbly. Yeah, like we were just talking about. So what I'll do, it's got little plastic tabs on the bottom of these feet, and I think one is missing or one has been, like it's been drugged and it's worn down or something. I'll probably remove those and just do a felt pad. Um, if you've got a problem with the legs being wobbly and not being the same height, you can also, if it's an older table, sometimes the wood will warp a little bit and you can take a sander on one leg. I'll usually just do one side and maybe just sand it a little bit, usually 80 grit. Be careful because you take a little bit off of this side and yeah. you take a little bit off of that side. It's kind of like when you cut your own bangs and they wind yeah, up so, short. Yeah, so like this one's wobbling right here. I wouldn't touch these three legs. I would only sand this one leg until it was right. And then I would never sand on this side because then you're well, just chasing also, it. two of these legs though, you didn't have tightened. I tightened them up. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to say they were not tightened when I tightened them. They might need tightened a little more, but I, I feel like it's those little plastic, like, anti-scrape knob. Plastic if anybody's deals. watching I don't know this what and is going to give me garbage about messy painting, like, just look at my Instagram when it's all done. I promise you it's going to be cool. Susan Smith, I am not usually a black paint person, but I am loving this table. Yeah, it looked good, just black. Sometimes we'll two-tone where we'll do the white underneath and the black on top, and that's a fun look, too. The black in covers like so well too. Like sometimes I paint stuff black just because I'm like, oh, that's going to cover well. All right, I'm going to paint this lips up. Can you use the heat gun though? Because there's some areas that I need to paint, but I can't. Sheila well. Frederick, can I chalk paint a wicker, um, ch chalk paint wicker and wax it? I would not suggest if you're going to do it by hand because it's going to be a pain in your bum. We like to spray wicker. You can totally brush it, but it will challenge your patience on brushing wicker. I had somebody come in the store the other day and they said, I'm going to brush my wicker. And I said, please don't. And she did anyways. And then she came back and she's like, so I need to know about spraying. And I gave her some tips because you can spray this paint. Just use the critter. Critter, critter sprayer. There's critter a link sprayer. in the description of this video um, to Amazon. Get a little fun kickback if you want to use that. Yeah, link. you cannot spray this in a traditional sprayer, but you can spray it in a critter. They're not super expensive and it will make your life easier on detailed projects like wicker. Sandra H, how do you find awkward sized boxes? We make awkward sized boxes out of other boxes. We make them. 
when you order from us, you will definitely see that you we will see don't Jamie's, recycle it. You will see Jamie's crazy box skills. Oh, you should go show them my box. We have it, that I believe I put it on my Amazon shop. The tool I use. Oh, I could show them the tool that we're using to ship stuff. I have a tool that I use to score the boxes and cut them down. And I can make a box. Because we get so many items shipped to us, we save every piece of packing material, every box. We have a giant corner of the basement. It's all shipping materials that we've saved. We do buy some, but because it's eco-friendly and saves money, we always save everything. Crescent Moon Cottage says their cats love the felt pads and they manage to get them off the furniture and use them like hockey pucks. <laughs> if that's the case, then maybe don't use felt pads. Definitely you can buy them. They have a screwing time. Yeah, you can pick those up. I'm sure Amazon has them or like a specialty wood store. Kay Handren, we heard about the earthquake in Idaho, but we didn't feel it down here. Yeah, some of my sister asked me and I told I told my sister, I said, well, do you feel the earthquakes in California? Because they live in Arizona. And she's oh. like, no. Jill McClure did it. She went and joined uh, Creative oh, Business yay. Skills. Oh, yay! Welcome, Jill. Make okay. sure you're, uh, okay, tell them. All right, email um, creativebusiness at jamierayvintage.com, and that is how you get added to our Facebook group. We, we run it on Facebook because I like to be able to have more interaction than YouTube allows, and so Facebook is just a really good option. Until YouTube comes up with a better group platform, we'll run that group on Facebook. The rest of Kippo, my husband oh, always takes on this. our sloppy painting, on, on your okay. sloppy painting. I'm like, hello, have you seen me? I'm like a three-year-old with a paintbrush. Did you guys so see the crackle? It's, it's all about the end result. Like, it doesn't matter what this looks like. It's kind of like the studs on a house. They can look all crazy and things, and it doesn't look good until you put the sheetrock on. This is happening because the paint's really wet. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So this is why I like to use milk paint, because you get fun stuff. If it doesn't crack and chip the way you want it, you can always try wet distressing in a heat gun. I can usually get it to do what I want. Oops, it's dripping on my foot. I better take my Birkenstocks off. The show 78. Jamie, do you ever clear out your storage area and decide to keep items you bought to sell? Me currently trying not to hoard. <laughs> um, sometimes. So are you or, getting crackle and chipping? Oh yeah, like show them that. I yeah. think they can see that. Um, we'll give them a nice close up. So that's, this probably wouldn't happen if I wasn't using a heat gun. The little baby crackles is what usually happens naturally, but the big crackles happen from like the heat gun. So these ones, we'll have to, we'll distress this. I might've got the camera too close. I don't know if it'll focus. Um, we'll distress this and all this little crackling and chipping, some might chip off like in a little chunk and it just makes it look like it's a hundred years old. Yeah. And this is just your average like sofa table. Sometimes it's really hard to get like the good antiques. And so sometimes you just have to like make your own situation. All right. You could also like what I'm doing, if you wanted to use like DIY paint underneath, you could probably do that too. The nice thing about the milk paint too is that you can get like $6 samples. So like in this case, you could just buy just a sample for the base coat and then maybe a pint for the top and you wouldn't have to buy like so much paint. All right, Sharon Taylor, I have an open air dining room table. It has a lot of small bubbles all over it, but I don't think trying to remove it is the best choice. What do you recommend? So probably not going to be able to restain that veneer if it's bubbled because what's happened is moisture's got underneath the veneer with little cracks or something or or a pocket of uh, or a hole in the uh, sealer um and and it's probably got mdf underneath that's swollen up and caused it to have those bubbles or those raised spots what i do is i will just take a sander to the top of the veneer and sand those all the way down smooth until they're flush with the rest of the veneer so they're not bubbled anymore and then we do like a gray stain and a dry brush over the top with uh with like a lighter gray paint or uh or like even like a like a white swan or something something you really love watered down so i don't want to miss this this bit of information if okay. it's mdf underneath and you sand it you'll have like this weird oh, texture yeah. I so, have a what, video on it. so what you have to do is once you sand off that bubble and you've now exposed that mdf 
you have to take like a lightweight sand, like spackle or a little bit of Bondo and float it over the tops of those areas and then sand it smooth so that way it's flat and you don't have that weird MDF texture. Yeah. Because you can't sand that texture away. If you keep sanding, once the MDF is exposed, it's just gonna fiber up. And, it, and it's, it's rough to the touch too. Yeah. So if you feel that, you don't get that roughness. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you, but I was like, no, you don't want to forget that. I would probably have come full circle on that, but it would have taken me a hot minute. <laughs> um, but the dry brushing we do to cover those spots, we hide those blemishes where you can tell that it was sanded through and it's not like wood grain. That's what the dry brushing does. It hides those spots and it works really, really well. Um, there was another question up here. Uh, Christine Kerr, what brush do you recommend for DIY paint? Need to place an order. Um, you can use any of the DIY paint brushes that are made by that brand. I like, the, the sampler is good. I also like, is it the blending brush? Yeah, that's what the, the blending brush is good to This do. is the blending brush that I've got. This is... That's an abuse brush, but yeah. This, this brush here will do tons and tons of work. All right, there was another question. Brittany Brown, Zeb, would you be able to turn legs like that on the small lathe from Harbor Freight? So, from your spindles, this here, let me show you. This is actually probably pretty close to normal table height. It's probably right around 30 inches. All right, so this is 27 inches tall. So, so you need the green one, not the small one. So you got it. You, well, the small one's still green too. Oh. They make the bigger version. I think it's only like $100 more. I don't know. If you have the small one, it's great for candlesticks and pens and things like that. It does a really I'm good sorry, job. Sorry, I just painted it. Um, little tray feet and bun feet. Um, also really nice. And lamps and things. I've done a lot of work like that. I, but for table legs, I usually make them about 29 inches long depending on how thick my tabletop is. So this is only three quarters of an inch. So if I was making a table leg for this, um, for an actual table or a buffet table like this, the leg is 26 and a half inches. So, so you just, you gotta be able to fit it between the spindles. The smaller legs are probably gonna be a little too small to get an actual table height leg out of it. And pro tip, you could probably also use spray paint as a base coat, but you have to do that outside. And it doesn't always stick super great, so that's warning. That's why I like using the farmhouse finishes, but I have done fun techniques with spray paint underneath. Are we ready for a second coat on some of this? Um, yeah, a second coat. I think we got about 10 minutes. All right, I think we can finish it. Can you just dry the top? And then I wanted to at least get some area sanded so they could see kind of what the finished result will be. If we were live, it would probably take me about 30 minutes to paint this, not including dry time, just to give you an idea of how long it takes to paint. Then the human, your tabletop is it a drop cloth or the original wood? I'm loving it. If it's a drop cloth, it would look so nice on the wall, modern art by JRB. So this is an MDF tabletop that we didn't care about. This table was gifted to us. Um, and we used to put a drop cloth on it and we just, you know, it, the drop cloth got nasty and over time this got Fun. I mean, it's got all kinds of paint spills and fun colors on there. You if can tell have, what colors we use by looking at this table. If we have to be particular, though, about something, we will put a drop cloth down because we do get a lot of residual paint coming up off this because it has so many. I actually showed Molly a picture the other day and she laughed because she said she always hated this table and I always loved it, so she left it here for me when they moved out. And if you guys are new to our channel and don't know, we actually own a store here in Lehigh, and this is my studio, but it used to belong to Molly's Forget-Me-Not, and so I used to just rent space from her. When she moved out, we took over. She just moved out down the street. Let's see, um, there was a question. Susan and, Smith, would a pint of DIY do a dresser for two small drawers, two narrow long drawers, and four regular drawers? Yeah, sure. Yeah, a pint should cover that pretty well. Yeah, that's um, white. White's the only one that's like tricky, but I have yeah. not had a problem. It depends on how heavy you can It depends it. on what the look you're going for um, on a white dresser. Sometimes you got to do two coats. To uh, get sometimes you have to do three coats. Yeah, if it's shiny, three for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. Because whites have less pigment, that's why. Because some people 
whites and sometimes yellows. Salvage by K. Scott. Hey guys, I just got in from the garage working on my table ta dining table and remembered it was Wednesday. How's the weather in Canada today? It's probably cold. I feel like it's always cold unless it's July. <laughs> you yeah. Canadians are like awesome and hardcore because we complain about cold over here, but we in Utah we don't even know what cold is. All right, I'm going to fire up the heat gun. I got a couple spots on top that haven't quite dried up, and then we'll paint that and give you guys kind of a... It won't be full coverage. We'll have to do some distressing, and we will wax this. We might even use the uh, the hemp oil on this. I think that might be a fun Um, I think I'm not going to use the hemp oil on this. I'm probably just just wax? wax? Yeah. Okay. I try to reserve my hemp oil for food safe stuff. Canadians are also really nice, which... I'm like, how does that happen when you don't get a lot of sunshine? It must just be in your DNA. Because I get grumpy when I don't get sun. It's cold but sunny, so maybe that's what it is. <laughs> you guys just like go stand in front of the window, get that good vitamin. What is it, vitamin K? I don't know, so you're a long way from the camera, so talk loud with the heat gun. That's all right, I didn't say anything important. Renee says she shakes a lot. Which, Renee lives in Arizona, so Renee's only like an hour from California. So, of course, they would definitely expect to feel some rocking and rolling. I grew up right on the San Andreas Fault in Imperial Valley. Um, so, if you want to pick this up, I'm going to remind you guys again, I did at the beginning of the video, jamierayvintage.com and all of our milk paint, Farmhouse finishes and extra bond is 20% off from April 1st to April 8th, 2020. And we do ship to Canada and all over, like Canada, Australia, UK. So if you were thinking about buying milk paint, now's a good time because you can get a deal and that'll make up for the fact that shipping isn't awesome out of the country. Kelly says, yes, we are nice. You are, like, it's super awesome. Molly's son. The gal that my friend Molly, who used to own the store, who now is down the street, he's actually in Canada. I think he's in Quebec. Yeah, I think he's speaking he's French. He's serving a mission right now, and they're on quarantine, so they do all their mission work from uh, their house. He's been going they live on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, so if you're in Canada and you, you'd like to get to know some missionaries in Quebec, let me know. I can hook you up with their link because they're doing sermons <laughs> all day, every day, because they can't leave the house. And missionaries can't watch TV or anything like that. So. I think it's French speaking. I think yeah, he's, he he's does speak French. French. How much can a sample cover? Um, this is a four ounce sample is what it makes. So like a small chair or a base coat, a bunch of little projects. In the black, we probably could have got full coverage with the yeah, black. Yeah, you could do it. You could have done this table in just black in the farmhouse finishes in one sample. The lighter colors require more. Like you can tell, I have to do more coats of this light cream. How old is my youngest? He's five. And my oldest is 17. We were saying all of the super chat money is going towards uh, now we're saving up for college. <laughs> he just got accepted and uh, to a expensive private college in Nebraska. For wrestling. Yeah, they, um, they're, they're offering a wrestling us, scholarship. They're offering us a money. wrestling and academic scholarship, but we still have to come up with like they're covering 23,000 or something a year, and we have to make up the difference between that and 40,000. Yeah, well, room and board, they require them to yeah. stay on campus as a freshman, and room and board is like 44,000 with tuition. Let's get real, the boy can eat, so we're paying probably that much in food right now. I'm like, are you guys prepared to what he eats? Can I have that brush? I have some drips. This is your brush. All right. And he, they want him to be a heavyweight, so he's got to put on weight. So I'm guessing they're prepared for that sitch <laughs> situation. He hasn't quite accepted. We're going to call the school today and see, but it yeah, looks like he's, he's probably going to go there. That we haven't like given the okay. I think were we going to wait a week? Chew, I don't know. Chew on it. I don't know. Nebraska's a long ways away. It's, he'll be he'll be 13 hours away from his mama. But it's only a two-hour flight. A it's weekend. a sweet little, like, private. It's a Lutheran school. It's not, like, little, but their ratios are, like, 14 to 1 or something. Yeah, 14 students so to one They said stock up professor. on ramen. <laughs> I think you need to mix up more of that. Yeah. yeah, no, but the thing is, top ramen won't feed a wrestler. <laughs> Lots of protein. 
He eats a lot of meat and protein he shakes. Eats like, and he, he wakes up in the morning and he makes himself like six, seven eggs and bacon. Yeah, <laughs> we go through a lot of eggs and bacon at our house. Eggs, and, eggs actually aren't super expensive. No, but that's just his starter meal. Then he has second breakfast, there's lunch. Um, when he says she visited Nebraska. Can't forget about Elevensies. Elevensies. Yeah, he's a good boy. We're excited for him, so hopefully. He had told us that he, he did want to wrestle, and then all these colleges started kind of, you know, doing their thing, courting him, telling him they wanted him, and then all of a sudden he's like, Oh, yeah, I think it's also the social distancing. He misses rolling around on the mat. Something about boys and physicality, they love that stuff. Last night, Harrington hopped on top of Zed while we were watching Star Trek and they started wrestling in our bedroom and then they rolled off the bed and I was they under, almost knocked I was off. under the blankets just chilling watching TV and he like arm barred me. I'm like, dude. And they almost knocked off my window. I have an antique window in my bedroom. They almost knocked that off. All right, you gotta hurry. We're out of time. I am Mix hurrying. That. I'm hurrying, but I don't want to splash it everywhere. I already got my shirt all whatever. So I got this far and we ran out of paint. They said they'll feed them well in Nebraska. Oh, yeah. Well, we looked at the map. Like, you can Google map it, right? And everywhere in Nebraska, you, there's just farms and, and the fields and things. And then they've got, like, small little towns that are, like, where the grocery stores are. They're not big towns, but everybody around comes to them, you know. Egg prices just went up. We're gonna have to get our chickens back. I know, we don't have chickens. Marty right says, now. sounds like my house when all seven, okay, you sure. sounds like my house when all seven boys were at home, yeah. And the thing is, my little boy wrestles too. So, Redrick and Jack are constantly going at it. The other day, Zeb showed Redrick how to fireman carry. And so now every time I turn around, Jack is over Redrick's shoulder laughing, and Redrick's running around the house carrying Redrick. I'm like, oh. Redrick's running around. Oh, carrying Redrick's Jack. carrying Jack <laughs> all over the house, and they're dying laughing. Hey, you know what? They can't go play with all the No, buddies. he won't be a corn husker. I, don't, I think they're no, bulldogs. They're, they're the bulldogs. They're the bulldogs. It's a, um, a private Lutheran college. Concordia so. University. Yep, Concordia University is it. So. How long has that been like that? I just saw it. Hold on. Hold and on. we're back. back! Hopefully we didn't lose everybody. I'll have Zeb drop my bread recipe in the um, description box. I used to want to be a food blogger, but I've made a lot of bread in my life. This it's, bread recipe calls for soy lecithin, but you can pick that up on Amazon. It's not something you'll try, like find in a traditional grocery store. You can get can I have that? You can get yeast on Amazon too. It's a pretty easy recipe. All right, so if you want to get the dryer out and sand that first part, it's dry, so they can get see what it'll look like when it's all done. Yeah, here. I'm on a swiveling bar stool. Probably not my most safe option, but it's what we got. Well, I bumped this with my arm. We'll have to distress it there. Yep. If anybody has ordered Sounds off fun. our websites, we just hired two new shippers. So orders are going out. Watch for your tracking numbers. And the home decor website, we're shipping out again today. So stuff is getting mailed out. That's probably it for it now in this base coat. Is definitely. anybody else suffering from hay fever right now? The spring is starting to come on and uh, everybody's looking at you like you got the virus. <laughs> is it kicking off? Um, not really. Not really? Might have to take the orbital to it. Let me get a wet. I got some chippy right here. Well, it's not all the way dry. It's dry is a little more. It's dry. Okay. Yeah, can you use right. Big Top and a paint spare? Yeah. You can use Big Top or Sweet Chicken's top coat. So the thing about the milk paint, when you sand it, it gets so super smooth. Like even if you have drips, you can sand those right off, they're going to powder off and it gets really smooth. So you could do this with like any color combo. So if you have, like, you want a different color to come through, 
Just be careful because it may start. You guys, changing. next time I'm not doing a thousand things, I promise I'll replace this squeaky table. <laughs> yeah, well, I've, I've heard that before. Just kidding. All right, I'll hold this. <laughs> I gotta get like some elbow grease in here and I can't do it. All right, yeah. Now let me dry it while I wipe the stress in. What do you do? Uh, I went and got a little piece of wood to put in here, like a sanding okay. block. I'll dry this area and you can sand it. We'll give you the slow-mo pan here in just a minute. Got to distress this area a little better over here. We're getting there. Careful, don't hold it in one place if you're going to use a heat gun. Because it will bubble. It will bubble. All right, I'll hold it. All right, so this is that area where we had that hiccup, but you can see, I don't know if you can see that, it's really smooth to the touch. So even though you've got a layer and a little bit of texture, if you're a gal or a guy that doesn't love like crazy amounts of brush strokes, this is a good option. So there you go. Show them this spot here, got some good chipping there. Yeah, and this paint isn't supposed to chip, but again, with the water and the heat gun, you can coerce chipping out of it. And it's a little bit more controlled than like a regular milk paint. And this is the paint we're gonna be using for our floors. It's funny farmhouse. you said that. I was literally, when you finished your sentence, I was gonna tell them this is the paint we're gonna use on the floors. Yeah. <laughs> I have a ginormous bag that Sasha shipped to me months ago. And we're going to be using this paint on our floors. We're gonna prime them first. Um, and then we'll put this paint on there and then we'll seal it with a water-based sealer. Well, Tammy not... said that oh, making bread and having chickens was never on her agenda before. I'm sure these chicken places can't hardly keep them in stock. Right so now. when I go to the post office to drop off packages, all you hear is birds chirping. Oh, and that's funny. Because they because they ship chickens in little boxes. Oh, that's funny. We have a friend who works for the feed store, so we get chickens to spray some pet for us. Yeah. I'm not getting chickens right now because we're gonna move, but eventually we will. But we're planning on maybe eventually having a mini cow, some chickens, some We have lofty goats. goals for this farmhouse. <laughs> Amy, it is farmhouse finishes. Caitlin says her eyes are a little allergic, but not bad. Okay, let's see. All right, guys, I think that's as far as we're gonna get. We gotta do another coat on the top but pretend like this is what the rest of it looks like. We'll get you a good picture in community when it's all finished. We're gonna keep working on this, but uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's awesome. Thanks for following along with us. Hopefully you're, you learned some tips and tricks for broken furniture. If you have projects in your garage that you need to get to, definitely stock up on some paint. It's a really great time because it does take a little bit of learning on how to mix it and use it. So stock up, get practice, finish those projects. And you can either sell them online or just make your home pretty. I'm all about making the home pretty. So disclaimer before we jump off here, we have been having a struggle getting motivated to actually decorate in the current house we're living in. Because we're working on the farmhouse, right? And we're like, oh, we just want to decorate that. So that's why you haven't seen too many decorating videos lately. But we might get one going. Um, make sure, uh, yeah, so if you want to be a retailer for a milk paint, you can just message Sasha, let her know that I referred you. I get a little kickback for that. Um, it's definitely a great option. And you know, the thing about the products that I carry, DIY paint, female owned, made in the USA, Sweet Pickens, it's actually made here in Utah. So we have really great access to it. Um, and it's, it's just a really, I love supporting these smaller businesses. And especially right now, these smaller businesses can use help because they don't have the reserves that big companies have. So make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com um, and hitting up the milk paint sale. I believe Caitlin has it up there with no code. So you just can go ahead and check it out. And then also jamierayvintagehome.com. We're putting up new products on there all the time. And some of the things are getting low and we aren't restocking them. So if there's things you want make sure you're getting because some things uh, aren't coming back. I'm ordering what I can, but if you want to- Our suppliers are also struggling. Yeah, so. our suppliers are, are struggling. So on the home decor website, I don't put anything up there unless we have it. You guys might be seeing a lot of handmade stuff come out. Yeah, so <laughs> super excited. Thank you so, so much for following us. 
If you haven't, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe and check us out. We'll probably have another video up tomorrow, Friday. And then I have somebody bringing me some junk today. So there will be another junk haul on Saturday night. Love All you right, guys. guys. Stay safe. Don't lick anybody and don't sneeze in public. <laughs> Catch you guys warned. later.